Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ray. Thank you for joining me. Guys, I got another how-to unboxing uh, video for the Super Duty. Now, I haven't posted anything in a long time. Guys, I've been so busy trying to get my house in order. It's ridiculous, right? So if you have been following my channel, you know I've been doing some updates in the house and it's coming along slowly but surely. All right, my man, one man show and the show has to go on. Anyway, listen guys, I picked up this uh, this amount I wanted to pick up a long time ago. I uh, just got around doing it, pulling the trigger on it. And this is called uh, the Bat, the Badass Mount. All right, this is gonna be uh, mounts for my ditch lights that's on my Super Duty. If you haven't seen that, check out the link of of uh, those lights. I picked them up from, where I picked them up from? I don't know, hold on, stand by. <laughs> I had a brain fart. All right. <laughs> I picked them up from Baja Design, installed in my truck. I had the LP9s, I believe they were, or the LP6. I'm not sure. I'll show you a, a picture of them. Um, love the lights. Been working out very well for me, how I hooked them up. Check out that uh, video if you want to see how I installed them. But this is going to uh, complement those lights. All right. I found myself when I was special, I was going out hunting late at night, going down the trails. All right. I have my ditch lights pointing toward the ditch which is fine, but I wanted some more flexibility and adjusting that light, that beam of light, all right? And this is where the badass mount comes into play. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're simply gonna open it up, take a look at it, and I'm gonna install it. That's it. And listen, anything I'm showing you, there will be links below. Some, th some links will be affiliate. It does support this channel. And if you use those links, I greatly appreciate it. So enough of me talking. Let's take a look at this uh, badass mount and let's just get it installed in the 2020 Super Duty Tremor. Let's go. Okay guys, let's take a look what I have here. All right, this is the 360 swivel mount for utility lights. Um, again, it can go on anything. I'm put my application to be di ditch lights for my Super Duty. What I like about this is the design. It's really nice. It's all made from one piece of aluminum, um, bullet aluminum, and it's very basic. All right, they got a template, so you have to do any type of drilling on your mount. Um, you can, or whatever you want to mount this in. And let me. These are the, I believe the pins that goes in here. So take this out. Hey guys, forgive me if you hear an airplane. I live near an airport, a small airport. So sometimes we've got students practicing. So, and I got neighbors out there doing their yard. So the show must go on. All right. And what we have here, just some basic, uh, four screws and I believe that will go underneath here once you have your the holes drilled to keep this mounted and these are the pull pins right here that goes in here to help you rotate this very simple very basic now what I did notice with this and there's there's no directions for so it's pretty much you make it up as you go all right that's what it tells me. Think of your application. They do sell all the mounts that goes with this if you need it. But in my case, I didn't already have a mount. So we're just going to use what, we're, what we have. All right. But I end up getting uh, the blue being that I'm a former MOS. So for the boys in blue representing. And I'm telling you, looking at it, guys, it's very nicely made. This is a very nice mount. No wonder they call it a badass mount. <laughs> it is nice. It is very nice. All right, so that's very basic. Again, took me a while to pick this up. I decided to pull the trigger because one thing I haven't done an update to my truck in a while, and I want to put some new, new accessories on it to freshen up, freshen her up a bit. So let's take it over to my mount and show you how I'm gonna install this. All right, so stay with me. All right, guys, welcome back. Listen, end up installing again this back as mount absolutely love this thing as you can see I got it in navy blue support the men in blue men and women all right so that's why I end up picking up now what you do before you 
when you order this again it's not going to fit at a factory on those hq or hd hq mounts so you're going to have to modify it i recommend before you start have you a drill have a sorted size of drill bits you're going to need a 3 8 definitely all right because you're going to have to drill into your mount um you're going to need assorted twos uh this is a uh one and a half and one sixteenth so you need some type of wrench some scotch tape a little hole puncher all right they send you this little template you're definitely going to need this i suggest to have some uh, lock blue or blue lock some primer paint because being that you're going to have to drill into your bracket you may want to spray paint it to protect that metal from rusting and have a piece of wood and that's pretty much it you're gonna have to switch out at least in my application i'm gonna have to switch out the screws they provide for the mount that goes underneath here all right these this is what they give you excellent screws but unfortunately these screws are not going to be able to screw in your mount and i'll show you why all right so you're going to need replacement screws with a hex or you know that you're able to get a, a wrench onto all right and these are i believe m8s all right these are uh, millimeters uh what you call it grooves so when you get it you're gonna have to get the uh, shorter one the millimeters all right the standard the, oh i should say the metric size the standard size doesn't fit into this and that's pretty much it all right so this is uh, i'll take a screenshot of all the tools i have here and let's just get into installing this mount not too difficult just a couple of things you're gonna have to be aware of before you get started so let's take it to the front of the truck and i'll show you how is to get this installed so let's go okay guys so let me show you what i'm doing now so you got the bracket taken off now let me explain what's going on here now this bracket here as you can see there's holes here they do not line up with this configuration house is already set all right i'm sorry guys and uh, trying to slow down uh it's kind of windy out here but i hope you can make out what i'm doing here all right so again these holes do not line up so they give you a template so what you're going to have to do is first for one thing put a tape on one at a side so you don't rip rip a hole in it you're going to have to make it fit one of the screws that they give you and this is the screw that comes with it all right what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to utilize one of this hole you're going to pretty much utilize this one right here all right and go opposite of it because we're going to drill someplace in this area so you're going to take your template and you simply just going to take your screw slide it in like that and pretty much take the screw and butt it against this area here so now you got a little pivot point then you're going to pretty much take your template and what i did i took this corner here and i kind of pointed it pretty much at the edge of my bracket all right and that's where it's, it's pretty much going to sit and as you can you can go by, back and get an idea on how you want to adjust it or you can take this edge here and line it up here so however you feel comfortable with it all right it's up to you but that's how i i kind of approach this install something like that all right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go get a piece of tape and i'm just gonna tape this down here so it doesn't move all right so stand by let me get my tape okay now i got my template on now just to give you a little tip all right you see uh this is the outer circumference you probably want to bend this down so you could feel the edge of your bracket so you know you're at that edge all right if it's off a little bit it's not a big deal but just a little tip to be conscious on where that edge is if you want to try to get it centered as, as possible so got my screw it's butt against the bracket on this side and now you just get your little hole puncher and you're just gonna mark where you're gonna drill. Hold that down so I'm. All right, and I got a spot right there. Probably not gonna see it in the camera, 
but that's where it is. All right, so that's gonna be my drill spot. So now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna get a, a small drill to just start it off. And then you're gonna come back with a 3 8 a larger one to drill in this, all right? So let me just get this all set up and we'll keep it moving, all right? So stand by. Okay, guys, um, very important. Take note of the warnings I'm giving you. The piece of wood, please place under the location where you're gonna be drilling. All right, that wood is gonna stop the drill bit for drilling into your fender. Number two, please cover the total area because when you drill into this bracket, there's gonna be a lot of metal um, fragments coming off and you don't wanna scratch your finish. Unfortunately, um, I did not hit the record button to show that, but just follow these tips and you should be fine. So just, just keep it moving. Okay, now, as you can see, I got my little cloths here. Now, this part here, I suggest you guys have a little spray paint, all right? What I wanna do, I wanna protect this metal in here from rust. So I just picked up some Rosoleum Painter Touch, all right, paint and primer together. All right, so I'm gonna just touch this, hit this uh, location just to coat that. Again, just a uh, little pre-maintenance or preventive maintenance so it doesn't establish rust here. All right, that's it. All right, I'm not really worried about how it looks because the, the mountain's gonna be on top of that, so you won't even see that. But again, I just wanna get enough coat in here to, to cover up that exposed metal. Okay, I'm gonna let, sit, let this sit dry for a little bit and then we're gonna go to the next step. Now we're gonna add our mount. Now, when they give you to the, send the mount to you, they're gonna give you these type of screws here, all right? And this goes underneath here, just screw into here, which is rightfully so. The problem, as I was saying, when you mount your mount, see, it's going to go in here like this, all right? Now, when you look down in here, this area here, this is very tight. Now, a traditional hex wrench is not going to fit underneath here. All right, I, I tried. It's just too close. All right, so when you try to put these screws in, the distance between here, I'm unable to get to this hole here to tighten this in. So you're gonna have to go get yourself some replacement screws, all right? Preferably one with a this type of head, all right? This is gonna allow you to get your wrench on this and screw this into here. And at the same time, I suggest what I'm doing I'm adding some blue Loctite on the screws, so it'll just keep it nice and secure in here. So that's the modification number one or number two you're gonna have to do. These screws are not gonna work. Not unless you have a, a hex that's small enough that could get between the bracket and your fender, all right? Taking off the bracket is not an option on my case, all right? It's just too involved, I have to go we, you know, take this all apart, go underneath the fender, loosen it. Nah, that's not a, it's not an option. So just get yourself some replacement screws and you'll be fine. And again, this is only for this bracket or this type of application. All right. If you have a different bracket, you may have a uh, different, a different setup than I do. But that's what I'm dealing with and I'm just going to keep it moving. All right. So let me get this done and get this installed. So stand by. Okay, I just added a little blue Loctite and simply now we're just going to screw these in. Just make it loose right now just uh, so you can look underneath when you slip your screw in. You're able to line up the holes. All right, so they're both in. And now let me uh, just get my wrench so I can get this tightened in. Um, just to let you know, I'm using a, a half inch wrench to get this all tightened in or screwed in. Okay guys, the final step is here now. 
we're gonna put the bracket back onto here. Now what I'm doing with my bracket, I'm just gonna line it up with the, the line right here they have there. And what you're gonna have to do, well I had to do, I had to get um, longer screws. Now these are the screws I had with the unit, but unfortunately if you try to use the same screw, there's not enough distance. So you're gonna have to go pick up another, another screw. All right, as you can see the difference in size. So I think this is about an inch long, well, quarter inch longer than this one. So this is about an inch, I believe. I'll put in the description uh, this size or what they said it was, but that's what you're gonna need. But you're gonna use the same washers and the same nut. So again, when you go shop with it, just bring your nut or bring the screws and um, you'll, uh, you'll figure that out, that part, okay? So all we're gonna do now, is just get this back mounted on okay so what are we doing just gonna line this up right there I'm gonna drop my, drop my screw in here and take another washer and your nut and come up from the bottom okay and I'm just gonna line this up like this so let me just get this tightened up and we'll pick up the video after I get it installed all right so stand by guys and that's it guys as you can see it's installed all right and again now i'm able to as you can see rotate this anywhere i want now by pulling up to the side toward the back anywhere much better, much, much better. I like this. All right, I'm gonna go. So now, if I'm not off trail, if I just want my lights to go straight ahead, I can do that now. As before, I had it locked only in one direction going to the ditch. Now I have the flexibility to maneuver this. Excellent upgrade to this system. Guys, I'm just gonna button this up now. And I have to wait till nightfall so I can get my lights dialed in on the direction but you know so but you don't have to be there for be here for that but that's the upgrade guys very simple to do a couple of twos um, make sure you paint it so you uh, protect that metal and that's pretty much it all right guys let me see how i can readjust this again if this was helpful and you like this type of content please consider subscribing to subscribing to the channel liking the video share the video and that's pretty much it guys all right so i'll check you on the next one and diy rays out be good